One day, Duncan was not happy. Oh, I cannot believe I just want to sit on this side doing nothing. I'm bored for crying out loud. Well, you know, Duncan, if you're being bored, then you can't. Then, then I don't know what you're gonna do. Uh, says you. But before his driver could reply, Reneus then popped up alongside. Hello, Duncan. How are you? How am I? I'll tell you how I am. This day is just awful, and I'm feeling awful. I'm just bored. Why not just pull some coaches or trucks? That's always fun. Okay, I'm already dead. But now I'm just bored with nothing to do. Not an even exciting, not even an exciting adventure. <laughs> Technical. Well, you are running a bit late, Duncan, on your, on your freight car duties. Ugh, don't you start. Duncan is an engine who sometimes loves complain. Soon Duncan collected his goods train and was on his way. He had to deliver it all the way up to the mountains. Duncan sometimes would often go slow or rock and roll as he likes to do. But this day it was different because he was heading for pure disaster. After the last train had gone, Duncan had to collect some more cars. He had to collect pipes, stone, logs, drums, and bricks. All for the material site, which was all the way down near Rumlin Bridge at one of the junctions. Then Duncan remembered, Uh, driver? Isn't the Rocky Ridge Line supposed to come before that junction? Yes, Duncan. And we are most likely to be careful. But if you rock and roll, you'll be in a runaway. So Duncan promised to be careful at all costs. But the trucks had a mischievous plan. Soon, Duncan whistled and he steamed off quietly. He did not like to make a sound whatsoever. It was all too much for Duncan, but he needed a rest. But trouble laid ahead. Duncan sadly puffed over another bridge, when suddenly, the trucks eventually decided to start their plans. On, 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 they yelled. Oh, no, Then the thin controller came to see Duncan. Sir, I am so sorry for my in the I'm so sorry for my negative behavior. No, Duncan, I'm very proud of you. And you deserve it. <laughs> 